Rise and shine. Breakfast is ready in 10 minutes. And don't make me come back up there. This is our town. It's a close-knit community. The kind of place where everyone knows everyone. Hi, Miss J. Hey, how are you, girl? Text your mom tomorrow and tell her when and where to pick you up. And uh, don't do anything stupid. Love you guys. <laughs> Boys, get off the ice! We're training for the Olympics, sir! He's been underwater for more than 15 minutes. It's going to be a recovery, not a rescue. I got something. I got him! We've done everything medically possible. There's nothing more we can do. <laughs> no. Please, God, send your Holy Spirit to save my son. Congratulations. I mean, just being this like this movie. I'd love to know what your first reactions were after you watched the movie. Because, John, I mean, this is your story. Marcel, for you, man, it's like your first feature. Yeah. Well, it was very powerful to see the movie because we, we were filming every day on set and we already knew it was a powerful story that it was going to inspire many people. And it started by inspiring us on set and the, and the, and the cast. So just by seeing that every day and then the challenge of, of working all together and uniting for this beautiful story, we already knew it was gonna be powerful, but it was n nothing from what I thought when I saw the movie, it was just on another level. It was beautiful, everything was perfect, and it just came together so beautifully. Now, how about for you, I mean, what, was it easy? Was it easy to see the movie? Because this is your story, but I know, like you know, it's you're you're the person that's going through everything. So I don't know if it was easy for you to like to see yourself and watch the movie all the way through. Yeah, you know, going in, you're obviously skeptical sometimes because you don't know if it's going to be true. I mean, is he going to capture me right? You know, what's going to happen? You know, and going in, it was just tears. Mm. You know, tears of joy, tears of realizing that I'm blessed to be alive. Um, and you know, proud, you know, I, I mean, I couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. I couldn't be more, you know, just amazed at how well Marcel did portraying me, how well Chrissy portrayed my mom, how well Josh Lucas portrayed my dad. Everything in this film was perfect. And you know, even though they couldn't make it the 16 days that it was, the way they condensed it, it still was true. And I think that's just so powerful is that the world's getting to see something that is honest, it's true, and that it's powerful. Well, speaking of portrayals, how is it meeting each other? <laughs> I mean, that, that's always got to be a little like you know, in, like just kind of crazy, just to be like, oh, okay, you're playing me. Like, yeah. I, you know, I don't, I don't have that person yet yeah. that I've ever met. So <laughs> I don't know for you guys how it was just to meet each other and talk and bond. And yeah. I don't know if that uh, affects the way that you you, yeah. know, you uh, portrayed him yeah. in the movie. Meeting him was like meeting a celebrity, yeah. <laughs> um, and the whole family meeting them says we've heard so much about them and um, studied them, and I've watched so many videos of John. Just meeting him was like meeting a celebrity, and then instantly when I when I met him, I clicked with the character. Mm -hmm. I, I clicked with John, and we became friends instantly. And and just relating so much with each other about, about what we've gone through in life, how our relationship was with our parents, is I feel like I could relate with him a lot, and that helped me to get into the character and to really understand um, how I had to portray him in the realest way possible, and just the love of basketball, mm -hmm. the love of being so competitive, and showing that in the movie. So can you kind of go through and tell me about prepping for the scene where you fall through the ice? Like, I mean, I think you, I'm thinking you're on a soundstage or, or maybe like, I don't know if you were actually at the lake and like you get a lot of like people around you to make sure you were safe. So it was, it was two, two different locations. It was kind of crazy because I didn't, the first scene that we shot, the, my first day of, of working and filming, it was that ice scene. And I don't know if it was on purpose, but it actually helped a lot to get me into the character, to, the, to understand the story much more, and to know what, what the next two months were going to be like. Okay, I'm, I'm, it got me ready, and it was kind of like a warm-up. So we, we filmed on, on a frozen lake in Winnipeg, Canada, and there was a, like cranes and then like 200 people of a crew on that lake. So I was kind of scared, like, I hope this doesn't like, break. But it, was, it came out really beautiful. And so we, we shot the scenes before falling in the ice and then after they take us out on the real lake. But then everything that was in the water, they built like two tanks, a five water tank, a five foot water tank, and then a 20 foot one. And we were filming there for three days and it was crazy. Mm. Well, you guys, 
thank you so much again for being a part of this amazing story. Thank you for sharing this. I know it couldn't have been easy. The movie comes out April 17th. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong. You've been watching Hollywood First Look Features. I can't wait to see you shoot those baskets and run up and down the court again. The Smith family asked for one thing. Please pray for John. In the water that day, I was ready to give up, but then I hear this voice telling me, go back. Either I'm nuts or God's talking to you. But I don't believe in God. I believe it, but maybe that only goes so far with something like this. I'm your pastor. I'm supposed to walk alongside you for as long as it takes. Did you see the Facebook page? It's going viral. Call me. I hope he's going to be okay. We're not going to get through this alone. Whatever you have for me, for Brian, for John, I surrender. I will call.